I'm being attacked by a skeleton. Whatever will I do? I have no armor, and I don't have a weapon. Hell yeah. So, might be hard to see, but what that is, is a armor equipper where you drop into the floor and you get your stuff and then you come back up. And this only works in Minecraft Java Edition. So sorry Bedrock users, I'll try and come up with a design for you guys. So I don't know if you'll collect all of it, but we'll try it on this zombie just to show you what happens when you do it. So you get pushed down, you come back up, and you got all your armor. This zombie doesn't, but you know, that's because he's stupid, he's a zombie. Bye friend. So, it's just a quick thing, and how do you build it? Well, you're going to need this 4x3 area, and this block at the back middle, sort of one block forwards, is where you go down into the floor. And then you're going to need these resources, 4 sticky pistons, a redstone dust, 3 redstone torches, 6 dispensers, so dispensers, 2 droppers, these could also be dispensers, but droppers use less resources, 10 furnaces, and these are just because they don't get pushed by other blocks, furnaces are cheap, they're made of cobblestone, block of redstone, three redstone repeaters, and five honey blocks. Now you will have to go seven blocks under the floor, so three, four, five, six, seven, and your redstone at the bottom is on top of this eighth block here, so really it's kind of eight blocks under the floor, but you know, seven blocks of space. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the block we get pulled down on and do honey going down like this. And then we do on each side, this doesn't look like anything, and that's how our honey is done. Then we also have underneath these three honey blocks at the bottom. We're going to do pistons, but starting on the right side, we do one at the top underneath the honey. Then we do one one block lower down underneath the honey like that. Then we go one block further and we do another one further down like that. So we have a staircase of sticky pistons aiming upwards, starting on the right side if we're looking from this longer side. Now behind the honey, at the back we have two, these aren't dispensers, they're droppers. We have two dispensers, won't work if these are droppers. Then on the right we have two dispensers, and then on the left we have two dispensers. And I'm just going to tell you now, it does matter what dispensers you put the items in. If you put some of them in the wrong dispenser, some of the armour, it won't equip. So you have to make sure you pull it in the right dispenser when we do that later. Then just to cover up this bit at the front, we'll go in front of it like this with two furnaces and actually we'll do them facing away from the honey so we can't see that they're furnaces they'll just look like the back of dispensers so then that's the hole we fall into and it's covered on all sides by dispensers and furnaces so you could do a more clever way to activate it but one of the things i wanted to do is we just have a button on the floor so in this corner here at the front we have a wooden button this could also be a stone button, I think it's quick enough that it doesn't matter. I could just check that. Yep, stone button works fine, it's faster, so any button will work. So we go underneath the block with the button, we do a redstone, then we do a block with a redstone torch. Then we go across from that redstone torch with a redstone dust on a block with a redstone torch. And then we do the same thing one more time. Like that. If we go one block across from this redstone torch and the sticky piston aiming downwards, we then have a redstone block on the bottom of it. Then coming sideways from the redstone block, we do a block, we have a redstone, then that goes into a block and we have a block coming towards the piston staircase now with a repeater. Oh, this piston staircase is supposed to be one block lower because obviously this piston pushes up. So we actually need to move all those one block down like that. So there should be a one block gap. And then we do a repeater on two ticks aiming into bottom piston there. So again, we've moved this piston staircase one block down because it did it one block too high. So to power the other pistons in Java Edition. So because in Java Edition, if you put a block with redstone on it, uh, diagonally above a piston, it will actually power the piston if the piston gets updated by moving or by having a block next to it like that. So even though there's not a block next to it that's powered, it still gets powered diagonally which is really weird. So the way we do this is we put a dropper 
This could also be a hopper or dispenser underneath this furnace that we put the redstone on. And that will tell the piston this redstone is turned off. When the dropper stops being powered by this redstone, it will literally in the game tell this piston that it needs to update because this redstone's off, which is weird. But otherwise the pistons would just stay stuck out and it wouldn't work, so that's why we have to do this. And then next to the final piston on the right, we do a furnace one block above it with redstone. Then we do a dropper aiming downwards there. And that updates the piston and tells it to turn on and off. So now we also have to block off this middle redstone connecting to this one on the right. So we do another furnace next to this torch to block those off and it has to be a furnace so it doesn't get pulled by the honey. So we can test this works. If we press the button, the red block in the middle should go down and then come back up. So you can see it went all the way down to the bottom and then came up. So now we need to power our dispensers. So what we do is we go from this redstone under the button and we do a furnace next to this honey on the left. A repeater going into bottom dispenser on full delay. Then we do a furnace on the other side with a redstone dust. Then at the back, we go one block down, then another furnace. These are just so they don't get pulled by the honey. Then we do a repeater on its default, going into a final furnace with redstone dust. And this will power all of these dispensers. So this repeater actually goes off too fast for you to get to the bottom dispensers before they fire the armor out at you. So for it to equip, you actually have to put the armor in the top dispensers, except for the last one, the last two here, they have another repeater of delay, so they're okay. So what we're gonna do is starting at the back with the furnaces, we go to left dispenser and the top one, we put helmets in it. So obviously if you only have one helmet, just put one helmet in, but there's a bunch just so I don't have to refill it often. Then at the back one, we'll put chest plates at the top not the bottom. So helmets at the top on this side, chest plates at the top at the back, but then on the final side, the right side, we can do the top and bottom because of the one extra repeater of delay. So we can put both the leggings in the top and the boots in the bottom. But again, it does matter which of these they're in. If you want them to equip, don't put them Starting from this repeater by the button, you don't want them in the two bottom ones. So instead, I use those for the, the sword at the bottom and the shield at the bottom. So there we go. So top left, helmets, bottom left, swords, top of the back, chest plates, bottom of the back, shields, could also be a bow if you want. And then finally, top of the right is leggings and bottom of the right his boots and then they'll all equip. So I have no armor on so I stand above this block here and then I press the button. And I'll come out with a full set of armor, shield and a sword. All right hope you enjoyed that. I'll just go around so you can make sure you built it right. And you can see my uploads early on Patreon, whatever tier you subscribe to you'll get the video slightly early. And if you want a download with all of my Java builds in this giant bowl and some others as well, depending, then that download is, is in the description or the comments. And I've also got a Bedrock world for Bedrock players. I'll try and make a Bedrock version of this as well. So anyway, I've been Night and Night. I'll see you in the next one. And yes, this is not a staircase tutorial. I kind of just got sidetracked and built this instead and I'll do the staircase tutorial some other time.